Hello and welcome everybody, race fans, for the second edition for the Pit Stop Challenge by Total Energy. We are ready to welcome you here in Imola for that uh, big round. That's the final of the Pit Stop Challenge. In a few minutes now, we'll start this great challenge and we have the mechanics already here uh, behind me for the RLR M Sport, the number five car. It will be Scott McGarity, Ben Kendall and Stefan Liard at the, at the Wilgen, I would say. So we have uh, a strict uh, competition and we are ready, they are ready, the mechanics, because that's really, really something that they are waiting for. That's the second edition, as you know, maybe, uh, in the ELMS category for the Pit Stop Challenge by Total Energy. So we are just uh, thrilled to uh, welcome you here. We'll speak in English and some words in French. I know we are in Italy, so we'll talk a little bit French, because in ELMS, we have also des équipes françaises qui sont là aussi. Je ne parle pas italien, malheureusement. Je m'en excuse, mais en tout cas, on va pouvoir donc euh, vous accompagner pour cette deuxième édition de ce Pit Stop Challenge by Total Energy. On avait eu l'occasion en Aragon hein, l'année dernière de pouvoir justement eh bien, inaugurer ce Pit Stop Challenge. Dans quelques petites minutes, eh bien, les euh, Pit Stops vont commencer et notamment pour l'équipe RLR M Sport. The RLR M Sport team is ready with the number 5 car. They did 20 seconds out 40 Yesterday, during the qualifying session in the LMP3, we have uh, three categories, LMP3, LMGT3, and LMP2, and they are ready. The mechanics are ready within a few seconds now. And here we go. That's the first uh, pit stop here uh, in the ELMS and in Imola 4. This uh, LMP3 competition. RLM Sport is uh, starting. They have to change the four wheels for sure. And uh, they use the wheel guns as a normal pit stop. And top, we are waiting for the time now. 20 out 40 yesterday. Are they happy with the, with the time? 20. 1-0, 21-0 pour le Airline Sport, 20 euh, de 20, 100 tout simplement pour euh, cette première compétition, donc ce premier arrêt au stand et euh, ce premier pit stop dans le cadre de ce pit stop challenge. On va aller vite, hein. de toute façon ils sont vraiment motivés ces mécaniciens. All the mechanics are, are really motivated and we can understand why for sure because uh, they have uh, something to win, they have something uh, for the, the race uh, as well to uh, show and to prove. And uh, as uh, Iron Lynx is concerned, the Lamborghini number 63 will be the second team to do the pit stop challenge. Last year, Iron Lynx were second in the GTE category. This year, it's the LM GT3. They did 16-2-9-3 yesterday. And uh, they are willing and they are keen to do better in the LM GT3 category. This uh, Lamborghini number 63. The three mechanics are ready. We are waiting for the countdown. They are ready. Five, four, three, two, one, go! The first wheels are removed. The wheel guns are, are used. As a normal uh, pit stop in the LMS, they are really, really quick. In LMGT3, it's uh, faster, normally faster than uh, LMP3 and LMP2 and top. That's uh, well done for the uh, Iron Links team. We are waiting for the timing, the timekeeping. 16.35, 16.35 for the Iron Links team. They've done almost the same as in qualifying yesterday. So it's a pretty uh, good time. 16, 35 pour l'équipe Iron Links, donc la Lamborghini numéro 63 l'année dernière. En GTE, on rappelle que cette équipe Iron Links avait terminé en deuxième position, donc ils veulent forcément faire mieux. Face à cette équipe Iron Links, on va retrouver le cousin Iron Dames. Voilà, elles sont là, les Iron Dames, avec Raël Frey, avec Michel Gatting et Sarah Bovi. Et bien, là, pour le coup, ce sont les mécaniciens de cette Porsche numéro 85 qu'on va retrouver, Hector Lauerta, Julian Klein et Michael Reed, qui sont donc présents. Je ne vais pas citer, effectivement, les autres mécaniciens des Other Mechanics, où Lassie Viertanen, Thomas Cades. Kyriak Des, sorry, and Andrea Siletta. So for the Iron Dames, uh, now within a few seconds, within a few minutes, we'll have Hector La Huerta, Julian Klein, and Michael Reed. They are all ready. They have the wheel guns. They have a specific 
timing niya. And there we go. Specific strategy as well. Oh, the left wheel isn't really easy to uh, remove. Can imagine that it's pretty difficult to uh, to do it uh, really really fast. And top, perfect. They have their own strategy, and I think they are pretty satisfied. Congrats, guys. Fifteen. 57, 15, 57, 15, 57 for at the moment that's the fastest time. Yesterday they did 15 hour 7 in the Iron Dames team. So the three drivers are, are pretty, pretty happy, I think, to see that uh, their team, the Iron Dames team, is still really, really on it and really fast. So we'll move uh, quietly now with the LMP3 reigning winners last uh, season in ILMS for the Pit Stop Challenge by Total Energy les champions en titre et oui on peut le dire hein, les mécaniciens de chez Ultimate l'année dernière ils avaient remporté la victoire en LMP3 hier ils ont signé un temps de 16 secondes 710 et on va donc euh, les suivre attentivement Mathias Aubry Thibaut Dast et Quentin euh, Mail ils sont euh, tous les trois après. On va évidemment euh, se concentrer chez Ultimate, cette euh, équipe donc euh, bretonne. The, uh, Britain, uh, the, the team from Brittany is uh, ready. The French team, they won last year in LMP3 and they did a fantastic job. Let's be ready. Okay, okay, let's go. Three, two, one, and go. They are really on it normally. They did 16.71 yesterday. They can do even better. We know that in LMP3 it's not uh, that uh, fast maybe as uh, in LMGT3, but they are really, really fast. Ah, maybe the left wheel was not perfect. Congratulations, guys. So we'll wait for the timing. 16.94, 16.94, c'est bien. C'est un petit peu moins rapide qu'hier en qualif. Bon, ça reste évidemment une bonne prestation. C'est mieux que RLRM Sport. At the moment, the Ultimate did 16.94. And that's better than uh, RLRM Sport in LM, uh, LMP3. Let's remind you that we are doing uh, really class by class. So LMP3, LMGT3 and LMP2. And the final will be easily between the fastest time in LMP3 and the second best time, same for sure in uh, LMGT3 and the same in LMP2. That's uh, pretty, pretty normal. So now we are going to the Formula Racing team. They did uh, an awesome job uh, yesterday with a time of 14.937, the Formula Racing with the Ferrari. So they are ready to go. The Formula Racing team is uh, with Emanuele. Sbarini, Daniel Praigno and Michael Fontaine. They are all three ready and all the team is supporting the effort. And let's go for the Ferrari number 50. Yeah, Jack is uh, in place. We we'll remove the wheel nuts on the left side. Then uh, two wheels are removed. And there we go. Perfect. So yesterday, 14.937, if they do better, Johnny Lawson is here watching the team. 15.87, 15.87, so that's not as good as yesterday, but it's pretty good. 15.87, Johnny Lawson, Johnny Lawson is, uh, is satisfied, so that's, uh, that's really good. One of the drivers of the Formula Racing team, and we'll uh, move very easily to the box number 18. Yeah, for sure, that's the uh, WTM by Rinaldi Racing. So Formula Racing at the moment is uh, really, really fast against the Iron Dames team. Iron Lynx is uh, P3, uh, if I am correct. So we'll uh, have the two fastest teams in each category that'll have the possibility to fight for the win for the Pit Stop Challenge by Total Energy second edition. We are checking. Alban is checking. Uh, if the wheel nuts are correctly in place, if the wheels are correctly in place, if the, if the car as well. So that's uh, an official competition, guys. Pit stop challenge by Total Energy. The mechanics ready for the WTM by Rinaldi Racing. Calvin uh, Corums, Borja Laskibar, and uh, Maxim Matisse. 
That's uh, three mechanics for this uh, German team. Yesterday they did 21-1, so today they have to do better in order for them to be in final against uh, maybe Ultimate. And we don't know, uh, either Cool Racing or RRM Sport. WTM by okay, Rinaldi guys. Racing is uh, ready, Four. they are ready. Four. Three, Three, two, two one, one. go! 21-1 yesterday, they have to do better today. If they want to have a chance to be in final. Voilà, il va falloir faire mieux que 21 secondes 1 s'ils veulent être en finale. On le remplace là de façon très différente. Un pneu avant droit, un pneu arrière gauche. On remplace donc les pneus. On va s'assurer que tout est bon. Voilà, félicitations. Je pense que c'est mieux que 21 secondes 1. On va voir ce que, ce que ça donne comme chrono. 18-28, 18 18.8. They did better. So that's a really good team effort. At the moment, they are P2. But we'll see in LMP3, we have the cool racing team that is pretty, pretty on it as well. So at the moment, uh, Ultimate has done the fastest uh, job and then uh, WTM by Rinaldi Racing and LRM Sport in LMP3. It's time now for the first LMP2 team, the Duquesne team, the French team, l'équipe Duquesne, donc, uh, qui va maintenant placer sa voiture pour uh, ce pit stop challenge by Total Energy l'année dernière. Chez Duquesne, ils avaient terminé 8e en LMP2 cette année. C'est beaucoup mieux déjà puisqu'ils sont dans le dernier carré. On va donc uh, citer les mécaniciens évidemment de chez Duquesne, Michael Duterte, Quentin Fauconnier et Gwendal Rouve, qui sont uh, présents donc pour uh, eh bien, cet effort. Gilles Duquesne est là pour regarder évidemment ces uh, Pit stop, très intéressant. So, Jill Duquesne is uh, watching closely the team, the Duquesne team, the number 30 car, the LMP2 team. Yes, uh, last year in Aragon they were P8, now it's even better. They are in the top four and maybe fighting for the final, the big final with the two best teams that have the chance to fight for the victory here in uh, the pit stop challenge by total energy and uh, 150 euro per mechanics uh, if you win your category so it's pretty pretty good so you have uh, the motivation they don't need that but they have the motivation so they will uh, do their best in lmp2 it shouldn't be as fast as in uh, lmgt3 but uh, some teams <laughs> were really on it yesterday in lmp2 and uh, LM P3, so Duquen team, 15-7 yesterday, 15-700 hier pour uh, l'équipe Duquen team. And let's go for this uh, pit stop, the first LMP2 team to do the pit stop challenge today. Here in Imola, you have to be uh, really concentrate. What a strategy, you have to uh, set the, the winners now. And here we go. Ah, that's pretty good. The organization is uh, perfect. Oh, wow, what a time. 15.79, 15.79. Ils sont métronomiques comme hier. 15.700. Et là, c'est 15.79. Donc là, on est vraiment sur euh, deux performances exceptionnelles. Là, pour euh, l'équipe du Ken. That's really important to have uh, a metronomical, uh, I would say, performance. Because uh, during the, uh, the race, you have to master the pit stops. And the drivers and teams uh, really know that. So that's why we wanted to highlight the, the job for the pit stop challenge and uh, for the mechanics. And now it's time for the grid motorsport by TF. Yesterday they did 16.2 and uh, we'll uh, tell the, the names of the mechanics. Jordan Crook, Max Esteve and Sophie Bull. Sophie Bull, one of the mechanics, female mechanic here in TF Sport. And let's go. Last season, TF did the uh, fifth position in GTE. And now with the uh, Aston Martin number 97, we'll try to uh, monitor the time. Yesterday they did 16.2. Will they do better? Uh, interesting strategy. Good job for, from uh, Max TV, Sophie Bull and Jordan Crook. 16.5, 16.5, that's a little bit less than yesterday. So we'll have to, uh, to do the, the mathematics, I'd say. I don't remember which uh, time we are done by uh, Iron Dames and Formula Racing, but I count on you uh, to remember what uh, it was done. 16.5 for Grid Motorsport by TF. Last year, they were P5. They 
already done better this year in the LM GT3 category. Et on va souligner évidemment 16.5 pour le chrono de cette équipe TF et la présence d'une mécanicienne. Parce que oui, il y a les Iron Dames, il y a des pilotes mécaniciens, il y a aussi des femmes mécaniciennes. Et regardez là, il y en a une qui ne va pas participer pour cette équipe Aobai TF, mais elle est présente dans cet habitat. We have a, a mechanics, a female mechanics here in the car. So that's pretty good, pretty good to be in that position instead of uh, being in the pit lane, in the working lane with the, the wheel gun. That's uh, for sure. But that's uh, really interesting to uh, highlight the, the huge uh, the huge work from uh, ELMS and from uh, the ACO series to uh, promote men and women, so uh, we are happy to, uh, to tell that as well. How by TF? Yesterday, they had done 16.0, 16.0. So that was a nice time. That wasn't sufficient to be in the top two. They were in the top four. Last year, TF did with the Racing Team Turkey. Second place in LMP2. They can do even better this year. Everybody is uh, concentrated from uh, TF. We'll say, we'll uh, tell the, the names of the team as well. They are ready. Aaron Gabel, Richard Dose, and Clive Two, Roland. One. And here we go for the number 14 car, the LMP2 from AO by TF. They are pretty fast normally. Louis Delitra is watching closely as well. One of the driver from this, uh, this team, Tony Edgar and Robert Kubica, are working. I didn't work well with the Left rear, no, it won't be uh, a good position. Well done anyway. Congratulations, top four. P4 for this uh, Aobai TF effort uh, in LMP2, or maybe better, but um, that will be difficult to be in the top two. 1979, 1979, ça sera peut-être un peu court quand même pour être dans le top 2, mais on ne sait jamais parce qu'il reste encore deux équipes évidemment à suivre. L'équipe Idexport, tenante du titre dans la catégorie LMP2, et l'équipe Cool Racing qui euh, hier a été remarquable. On va s'intéresser à l'équipe Idexport. Donc, uh, we'll uh, go now for the Idexport effort. They were in uh, the top 3 in uh, the 24 hours of Le Mans with their drivers, with their mechanics. They won last year in uh, Aragon. So. The pressure is on the IDEX Sport team. At the moment, the uh, fastest uh, time uh, was done by Duken team in LMP2. How by TF did uh, 19, Duken team did 15. So we'll uh, monitor the time from IDEX Sport. Yesterday, they did 15.9. Hier, ils ont fait 15 secondes 953 chez uh, IDEX Sport. On sait qu'ils ont terminé sur le podium aux 24 heures du Mans. Eh bien là, place aux, aux mécaniciens désormais pour uh, essayer donc uh, de faire le meilleur travail possible. Il va falloir faire attention à ne pas gêner, évidemment parce qu'on sait que ça se joue à, à vraiment pas grand-chose. Nicolas Minassian est là hein, pour regarder attentivement, hein, bien sûr, son équipe. Allez, dans quelques secondes, ça va être parti pour l'équipe Inexport. C'est parti pour euh, Loris Chani, pour euh, Vivien Morisset et Sébastien Rogard. Ils sont efficaces. Ah, dommage sur euh, cet écrou euh, à l'avant-gauche. The will not uh, at the front left was a bit difficult to, uh, to put. Sébastien... Ah, they are not satisfied. They did 15.9 yesterday. They did uh, maybe maybe less today. No, they did better. 15.2, 15.25, les gars. C'est mieux qu'hier. Donc 15.25, c'est mieux qu'Aobai TF pour l'instant. Donc face à, à Duken Team, eh bien c'est un meilleur euh, chrono. Donc 15.25, ça peut être euh, une place en, en finale pour euh, l'équipe Idexport. Avec, euh, donc on, on l'a dit, hein, on les euh, salue de nouveau, les mécaniciens. Donc Loris Chani, Vivien Morisset et Sébastien Rogard. Allez, on va passer à l'équipe euh, Cool Racing. Ce sont eux hein, maintenant qui, à la fois en LMP2 et en LMP3, vont être à suivre. So in LMP2 and LMP3, the Cool Racing team will be to follow because uh, they did uh, an awesome job yesterday with the LMP2 effort with 14.5. They were even faster than in LMGT3 and as you uh, heard maybe earlier, it's not easy and uh, really doing better than LMGT3. It's almost impossible. But impossible is not French or Swiss. They are here for it and uh, the cool racing team is uh, gearing up 14.5 for this uh, 37 car uh, yesterday with uh, Quentin Baratier, Pierre Vincent Maire and Jeremy Poirot. The three mechanics are almost ready. The air jacks are checked. The wheel nuts are set. The car is ready. The mechanics are ready. The officials from the LMS done the, the necessary checks. 
So the Swiss team, cool racing team, is, uh, is ready to go either in LMP2 or LMP3. They are really, really fast, and we can explain as well okay, that uh, it's so important to be uh, on it for the mechanics as well as the drivers. Paul Louchatin, Lorenzo Fluxa, uh, and Malte Jakobsen are in the car this weekend as uh, Ritomo Miata is uh, not here. And I think, I think uh, they are so, so, so proud of the team. Cool racing team within a few seconds now. And here we go for this uh, before last uh, pit stop challenge before the final. It's a place in, uh, in the final that is uh, aimed by the cool racing team. 14.5 yesterday. Would it be better today? Well, that's a good effort. Maxime Scalabrini is very happy with the team. It's a little bit less than yesterday, 16.35. Wow, it will be very close. I think it will be Idexpo against Duke and Team for the final. Uh, I'll have the, the final check. 16.2, 16 16.2. Ah, ça joue à rien. 15.9 et 16.2. Je crois que ça se joue à 3 dixièmes de seconde. Quand on parle de dixièmes de seconde en piste pour les pilotes, bah là, c'est pareil pour les mécaniciens. On va attendre d'avoir la confirmation. Uh, at the moment, I think if my calculations are, are good, which is not really easy to <laughs> to be because uh, I have some, some difficulties sometimes to, uh, to calculate well but you can team out by TF I'd Expo and Cool Racing that was a, a nice uh, quattro but I think it's you can team against I'd Expo I'll wait for the confirmation in LMP2 and now it's the last LMP3 team still Cool Racing that in 19.4 yesterday they have to do better if they want to be in the final they can do better, they know it. So we'll uh, tell uh, about the, the team from this uh, 17 car. Quentin Margolier, Maé Rochard and Théo Magno. The three mechanics from uh, Cool Racing team in LMP3. The last team in this uh, semi-finals. And then we'll uh, obviously be really, really concentrated on the results either in LMP3, LMP2 and LMGT3. We'll start the final, as uh, we can uh, explain to you, uh, with the LMP3 best and uh, second fastest time. So the pressure will be on. We have one team remaining in this second edition of the Pit Stop Challenge by Total Energy. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy the show because it's really, really um, just Superb, I would say, to uh, put and to highlight those mechanics and the work they are doing. They are really, really fighting for, for seconds. They are fighting for tenths. And they are really always trained for such a performance. And there we go. Here we go for the last team, the Cool Racing team. 19.4 yesterday in the qualifying session. They have to do better. They have to do better if they want to fight against the ultimate. Ils veulent être en finale face à Ultimate, ils doivent faire mieux que 19 secondes. Allez, on va les encourager. L'écrou de gauche est bien fixé, on a passé la ligne, ça va être un bon chrono. On va voir si ça suffit pour être en finale face à Ultimate. 17.5, I think it's sufficient. We have uh, to do the calculation, I think it will be sufficient because in a few minutes we'll have the LMP3 first best time and second best time for the final. Uh, that was a, a nice effort from the cool racing team, from the number 17 uh, team, Quentin Margolier, Maï Rochard and Théo Magno will wait for, for the confirmation for the LMP3 because we'll start with the LMP3 duel, the uh, final. So with now the fastest, two fastest uh, teams. So we're waiting for the confirmation. If you have any question on the uh, live chat, because we are live on, uh, on YouTube, don't hesitate as well in French, in English. We can uh, try to answer if you have questions. If not, that's perfect. Just enjoy the show. Alors, on va avoir la confirmation. Je crois qu'ils ont eu la confirmation et c'est bien ce qui me semblait. Cool Racing sera donc en finale en LMP3 avec euh, l'adversaire qui devrait être français, si je ne dis pas de bêtises, avec l'équipe Ultimate. Voilà, c'est ça. Donc Ultimate 16 827 et Cool Racing 17 403. So the first team final in LMP3 will be the ultimate, the French team, they are the reigning champions, the reigning winners here in uh, Aragon. We are here in uh, Imola, but last year in Aragon, they were the winners. 16.8 for ultimate and Cool Racing will uh, have to fight and to better the time of 17.4. 
So that will be the, the first duel. So we'll have to go to the uh, ultimate team, I think, and then to the cool racing team. So let's go now for the box number 12. Let's go to the box number 12. On va au box numéro 12 désormais pour retrouver les tenants de, du titre hein, en Pit Stop Challenge by Total Energy. The reigning winners in uh, the Pit Stop Challenge by Total Energy. We remind you that it's the second edition here in Imola. It's the second edition ever uh, in the ELMS category. And uh, last season that was in Spain, that was in uh, Aragon. So we are ready to... Uh, to to witness the fight, I'd say, for the final in LMP3 between uh, Ultimate, the French team, and Cool Racing, the Swiss team. French Swiss. I don't know if uh, in football they, they had to, to be uh, against each other, but that will be France against Swiss. Because, uh, you know, that's uh, the Euro, of course, is, uh, is really um, now to witness. And tonight, French team will, uh, will play, so. We are ready, we are ready. And I think Ultimate is ready in the box number 12. Voilà, dans le box numéro 12, on ne va pas parler trop longtemps de foot, évidemment, et ça va être France-Suisse en cette fin d'après-midi, ici, donc à Imola. Ultimate qui avait réussi à faire un temps de 16 secondes 7 hier, qui aujourd'hui a fait 16 secondes 4. Il va falloir faire aussi bien, justement, pour cette équipe bretonne, avec les tenants du titre, tout simplement. On va rappeler donc l'équipage, si je puis dire, avec donc chez Ultimate, Mathieu. Mathias Aubry, Thibaut Dast et Quentin Mail. Voilà pour euh, les trois mécaniciens de Free Mechanics. The French Mechanics, they already won last season. Will they do uh, two in a row? Would be good. Would be good for the French team. Means that uh, the French effort is uh, really well supported by the mechanics as well. And it's so important, so important to have good mechanics uh, as well as good drivers and a good uh, car. So that's really something we have to monitor. <laughs> we are checking now with the, the wind nuts. So I asked for questions uh, in, the, in the chat. The fans are here. Young fans. You enjoy? You like? It's good? See? Si. Perfetto. <laughs> I don't really speak Italian, so I understand, but I don't really speak Italian. But I think they enjoyed. So what do they win? Uh, each mechanic is winning 150 euros each uh, per category. So it's uh, a good motivation, I'd say, uh, because uh, for sure that's uh, not uh, that's not a car to win, but uh, that's uh, already a good motivation. The, the biggest motivation is really to be on the podium in a few minutes. They will be on the podium. They will be highlighted. The mechanics that are working tirelessly, they are working so hard to be uh, fast and to fight for the, for the victory, for the last tense. Voilà, c'est important. Ils travaillent dur, tous ces mécaniciens. Ils se, ils se tuent à la tâche, si je puis dire. En tout cas, ils okay. s'entraînent eh bien sans, sans cesse. L'année dernière, ils ont gagné, justement. Est-ce qu'ils vont faire la passe de deux chez Ultimate Allez, c'est parti. Let's go for the first finalist in LMP3. They have their own strategy. They have to be... Uh, Really fast, they are really fast. We need to do better than 16.4. The airjack is uh, removed. I think it's a really, really nice time. I have to be here now. It is a perfect time, 15.91. Ils ont fait encore mieux, 15.91. Bravo, les gars. Bravo, Ultimate, 15.91. Là, la pression, elle est sur l'équipe suisse, évidemment. 15-91, c'est le temps à battre par l'équipe Cool Racing. Ils ont gagné l'année dernière chez Ultimate. Eh bien, peut-être que cette équipe bretonne, donc des frères Lae, va s'imposer encore une nouvelle fois. Will it be a second uh, win for the French team? Will we see in a few seconds or a few minutes? So, 15.9 to beat. It's a pretty tough time, I'd say. So, the Cool Racing team is uh, as well pretty uh, trained, but... Um, Yeah, the motivation has to be uh, at the highest here in uh, Imola. So we are heading to the box number 28 now. On va au box uh, numéro 28 désormais parce qu'on a bah, ce duel hein, dans la catégorie LMP3 évidemment. 15-91 pour uh, l'équipe Ultimate, les tenants du titre. 15.9 for the reigning winners, reigning champions in the Pit Stop Challenge by Total Energy, the second edition. Paul Lancher is really happy. 
Il a trop de temps à attendre, tu vois. Eh, voilà, il y a trop à porter. Il ouais, y a des glaces, il y a de l'eau, il y a tout. C'est parfait en tout cas, Paul. Tu as une super équipe. Hein. Paul Lancher qui vient eh bien, accompagner donc, ses deux équipiers, Mathieu Lahaye et Jean-Baptiste Lahaye, ce week-end. Et chez Ultimate, bah, déjà, on a montré qu'au niveau des arrêts au stand, c'est euh, solide. Maintenant, euh, pression sur les pilotes, évidemment. The drivers uh, have the biggest pressure now because the mechanics uh, have done their job. So 15.9 done by the uh, ultimate team, the French team. Now it's time for the Swiss team to be uh, the fastest. Will they do? Will they do it? From Switzerland, your supporters from Switzerland. I know, I know, I see you. So will they do the, the job? They are motivated to do the job, so in the cool racing team, the number 17 car with uh, Quentin Margolier, Maé Rochard, Théo Magno. The three mechanics are setting up the tires. They are ready. Ah, oh no, the, the wind nuts are, are not set at the moment, so it's not uh, perfectly done. That's uh, a pretty intense final. We all know that, and uh, especially with the heat as well. Pretty warm here, not as in Aragon last season, but pretty warm. We are um, we are well uh, welcomed here in uh, in Imola. We are already good uh, in Italy. We love being here in Italy with you, Tifosi. <laughs> That's really good to to have you. So if you're ready, Cool Racing. Allez, on va donc encourager l'équipe Cool Racing face à l'équipe Ultimate. 15-9 à battre. 3, 2, 1, and let's go. 15.9, that's the time to beat. Will they do it? It's so difficult. They, they have to, to lift the, the wheel with one arm. It's just so, so hard. Oh, the wheel nut is, uh, is set. Here we go. We'll be better than uh, 15.9. It was a good effort anyway. You can uh, really clap. Uh, 17.5, they are the P2, congrats guys, but uh, it's not sufficient. Uh, Ultimate has won in, uh, in a, two wins in a row for Ultimate. Deuxième victoire consécutive pour uh, Ultimate et pour uh, les mécaniciens donc, de cette uh, équipe. Mathias Aubry, Thibaut Dast et Quentin Maël. Bravo à vous messieurs, bravo dans cette... Uh, catégorie LMP3, donc victoire pour Ultimate, mais bravo à l'équipe Cool Racing qui, évidemment, s'est bien battue. Allez, on va passer maintenant à la catégorie LMGT3, désormais. Et on va essayer de savoir surtout qui sont les, les équipes qualifiées pour cette catégorie LMGT3. Je vais essayer d'aller jeter un petit coup d'œil. Alors, a priori, on va commencer par Formula Racing, la Ferrari numéro 50 et les Iron Dames avec euh, leur mécanicien, évidemment, la Porsche numéro 85. Donc, un duel Ferrari-Porsche. Pas mal, ça. Ferrari against Porsche. That's a, a good final for the LMGT3. Iron Dames uh, team did 15-0 in the qualifying session. Earlier in the afternoon, they, they did a little bit less. But that was pretty fast as well. So we'll start with the number 50 team. Johnny Lawson was uh, watching closely. And we understand why, because uh, he was uh, pretty proud of his team. Emmanuel Esberini, Daniel Praino, and Michael Fontaine. That's the team. That's the team we'll follow now. The Danish team, the Formula Racing team with the Ferrari. Will they try? Will they do? Will they do it? Will they win? They were last season only 10. It's uh, so difficult to be consistent, to, to do uh, three pit stops with the, the same time. That's uh, pretty hard for them as well. They did 14.9 yesterday in qualifying session. They did a little bit less, a uh, little bit slower earlier, but it was uh, a pretty decent time for sure. So Niklas Nielsen, Johnny Larsen and Corrad Larsen are, are ready to witness. They are ready, guys. The pressure is not on you, it's on the mechanics now. So tomorrow, that won't, won't be the same story. <laughs> But you know how to handle the pressure. A uh, whole uh, Danish team for the Formula Racing. So the mechanics, we already uh, presented them. They are French, they are Italian, they are for the Formula team, Formula Racing team. And we are ready for the Three, first two, pit stop in the final one. here in LMGT3 in Imola. 
The first wheels are already set. This is pretty good, pretty fast. That's really, really fast. C'est très rapide. Eh oui, en LMGT3, on va fixer les roues donc de chaque côté. Top. That's the first pit stop. How long did it last? Yesterday they did 14.9. Did they do better? 15, 1, 9, 15, 15-19. Pour l'instant, c'est le temps de référence donc pour cette uh, Ferrari de chez Formula Racing. Will it be enough, guys? You can, uh, you can enjoy and uh, you can be proud of the, the team work you did. 15.19. 15.19. In the Iron Dames garage, they are already counting. They are already really concentrate. We know it. 15.19 for the Formula Racing team and Aaron Dames team with Hector La Huerta, Julian Klein and Michael Reed. They are ready to fight and to win for sure in LMGT3. The first winner was uh, Ultimate in LMP3. That was uh, a few minutes ago. So now, will we have a Porsche winner or a Ferrari winner? A Danish team or uh, the Aaron Dames team? That's uh, interesting to... Uh, to monitor, to see the Italian team, the Iron Dames team is ready. So Iron Dames uh, operated by Proton. So I say uh, an Italian team, yes, uh, with, the, with the flag, but uh, it's Proton team as well. So guys are ready with the Porsche number 85, with the, the Iron Dames watching closely. Rael Frey is here, Mitchell Gatting as well, Sarah, Bovi. They are all here to uh, follow the the best performance, uh, maybe, maybe in a few seconds, Sector La Huerta, Julian Klein and Michael Reed. Are they all ready? I think they are. Ready to fight, ready to win. We want uh, to see a good fight. 15, seven, 19, 15, 19 to, uh, to beat. I love their, their strategy. They are already really on it. Four, three, two, one, go! Let's go, 15-19 to beat with the uh, Iron Dames team. Proton competition operated car, the Porsche number 85 from our Iron Dames. Wow, that was fast, that was really, really fast. Was it 14, was it 15? Aha, uh -huh. that would be... Wow, that's even better, 13.71, you are the winner, 13.71, congratulations, 13.71, c'est la victoire pour vous, eh bien bravo, 13.71, 13.71, that's just an absolute masterclass from uh, the Iron Dames uh, Proton team, um, really congratulations, because they did even better than yesterday uh, in the Iron Dames team, so yeah, you can be proud, you can be proud of the mechanics, 13.7, wow, I'm, I'm amazed, really, that was uh, a masterclass from you guys, so now we'll uh, go to the uh, LMP2 first, uh, first team, so the fastest team, uh, I don't know where I'm heading to, but uh, I'm going, I'm going there, the Iron Dames team, one and uh, Proton uh, operated, Proton competition operated car. The number 85 has won in LMGT3. Ultimate won in LMP3. Who will win in LMP2? We'll, we are heading to the Duquesne team now. Duquesne team in uh, the final. Yes, uh, yesterday they did 15.7. Today they did almost the same time. Last year they were only P8. They were so sad, they were so disappointed. But this year, they want a revenge. They want to win. They want to win, of course, against their main opponent with the IDEX Sport team. So IDEX Sport against Duquesne team. We'll speak French. On va parler français parce qu'on a deux pilotes, deux pilotes, deux mécaniciens, deux teams de mécaniciens français, pardon. J'en perds mon latin, évidemment, parce que ça va être un duel 100% français avec l'équipe Duquesne. The Duquesne team has done a perfect job until now. Will they suffer the pressure? Will they be aware of the pressure? They are, for sure. Michael Duterte, Quentin Fauconnier, Gwen Dalrouve. They are always ready in the Duquesne team. And we know that uh, it, can, uh, it can work well. It can work well. We uh, are used to see that, uh, that team, the Duquesne team, the number 30 car. We are checking if everything is in place. Nuts. 
have to be tightened. The wheels are on place as well. Gilles Duquesne arrives. Max Favar is here as well. Okay, so the pressure is on. Duquesne team or, or Idexpo? It will be a French win. Okay, we can, uh, <laughs> we can be proud as French. As Italian, um, that, was, ah, that was a win for Aaron Dames. Okay, they are ready. Ils sont prêts. Ils sont prêts. On va parler français. Parce que c'est un duel 100% français. Duquesne Team, donc, qui avait réussi tout à l'heure 15 secondes. Point 9. Allez, c'est parti. Il va falloir faire euh, même mieux. Il va falloir euh, sortir la meilleure prestation possible dans cette finale. Et en plus, il y a la fatigue, hein, forcément, qui entre en ligne de compte. Bien resserrer euh, l'écrou arrière gauche. On va euh, tout de suite euh, contourner euh, la voiture. On enlève euh, cette roue arrière droite. Et ça va être euh, bon. Top. Voilà. Ah, ils ne sont pas forcément euh, entièrement satisfaits. Alors, quel va être le chrono Est-ce qu'on a fait aussi bien que tout à l'heure Est-ce qu'on a fait un petit peu moins bien La pression est sur l'équipe Idexport. 13-31. Non, non, 13. 17-31. Bon, c'est un bon chrono, mais c'est un chrono battable, on le sait. 17-31 pour euh, l'équipe du Ken Team. Ah, la fatigue, il euh, y a aussi une répétition évidemment, et on le sait, hein, ils s'entraînent ces mécaniciens, mais c'est tellement difficile de pouvoir être métronomique justement, avec cette chaleur aussi. On sait que bah, c'est vraiment euh, compliqué, et donc bah, on, on comprend à quel point justement cet exercice du pit stop et de ces changements de roue peuvent être éprouvants dans une course de, de 4 heures en ELMS, notamment avec euh, trois passages obligatoires, j'allais dire, par euh, la voie des stands. Il va falloir, euh, euh, deux passages pardon si je compte bien, il va falloir donc être euh, évidemment redoutable pour euh, ces différents concurrents. So, we are here next to the IDEX Sports Car, the number 28 in LMP2, full win. The blue car, the green and black car, you can team against Idexpo, are they ready to do two in a row? Last season, that was uh, Ultimate in MP3 winner two uh, years in a row. Idexpo can do it! Oh. Allez, c'est parti! Avec euh, le changement côté gauche, avec euh, les deux roues qui sont euh, déjà enlevées. La roue euh, arrière gauche est, est serrée. Tout le plan Idexpo, allez, on veut, on veut vous entendre, là, il faut les encourager. Alors, 17 secondes, 9. Oh, ça va être, je pense que ça va être mieux. Je pense que ça va être mieux. On va attendre euh, la confirmation. 15 secondes, 46. Ils sont vainqueurs. Deuxième victoire consécutive pour l'équipe Idexpo. Second win in a row. Second win in a row in the pit stop challenge by Total Energy for Idexpo team. The French team has done it. Has done it again with the uh, LMP2. 15 seconds to uh, change the four wheels with three mechanics only. We'll uh, tell their, their name again uh, before heading to the podium. Loris Chagne, uh, Vivien Morisset and Sébastien Rogard. They are all very happy and uh, we can understand why because they won twice in a row in uh, the pit stop challenge by Total Energy. That's uh, really a, a strong combination and it's so difficult, to, so difficult to to have that wheel with only one arm to, uh, to carry. That's uh, just perfect. They, they only won now, they won. They don't hear um, at what I'm commentating. <laughs> they are really happy for sure. Ils sont heureux, évidemment. Il y a, il y a un petit, uh, petit décalage, mais j'avais déjà annoncé leur victoire. Voilà, on va les retrouver sur le podium, en tout cas. Bravo à l'équipe Idexport, en tout cas. Ce qu'on veut souligner, hein, c'est que ces roues, elles sont ultra lourdes. Et euh, les mécaniciens, je ne sais pas si vous voyez, hein, certains mécaniciens euh, portent euh, ces roues avec jantes à un seul bras. C'est juste euh, incroyable. Ah, ils font de la muscu, hein, ils font euh, pour certains du crossfit. On sait que chez Duquesne Team, justement, c'est le cas. Euh, et ben, il faut être euh, fit, hein, justement, et pas que les pilotes, les mécaniciens aussi. The mechanics are always ready to, uh, to do a, a great job, a great show. So that's, uh, that was amazing to, uh, to watch and uh, congratulations to all of the mechanics from uh, the ELMS team. That's uh, a huge success again. I hope you enjoyed as well following that uh, great competition, the pit stop challenge by Total Energy. And now we'll uh, head to the podium. We are heading to the podium and welcoming the winners, the team winners in LMP3, in LMGT3 and in LMP2. I think we can, uh, can be uh, happy and uh, the Duquen team is... Uh, Fair play, they are here to, uh, to celebrate as well with the, with the winners, the team winners, the trio winner, Loris, Seb, 
C'est vous les plus beaux. Loris, Vivien et Seb qui sont là donc. On est dans l'ordre. Gauche, centre et à droite. Eh oui, twice in a row. Deux années consécutives. Fallait le faire. Impossible n'est pas français. Chez Ultimate et chez Idexport, ils l'ont compris, en effet. Et euh, ben, impossible n'est pas italien non plus. Uh, the Italian team uh, operated by a German team, uh, Proton Competition, has uh, done a great job as well in LM GT3. So now it's time for the podium for this competition. The Pit Stop Challenge by Total Energy, within a few seconds now, will be on the podium to uh, celebrate with the winners of this second edition of the Pit Stop Challenge by Total Energy here in Imola. The four hours of Imola has been uh, already uh, well launched, I would say, and we are now ready for the podium. So now, guys, we are ready for the podium ceremony for the pit stop challenge by Total Energy after a great competition between uh, all the teams in LMP2, LM uh, GT3 and uh, LMP3. We had really, really nice pit stops and some teams uh, 
didn't uh, really did uh, the, the job, I would say. They did the job, but um, in the final, that's so difficult, so difficult to, to be on it, and uh, they really tried their best. It's always really a challenge. <laughs> if it was uh, easy, we knew it, we would knew it. But it's not the, <laughs> the case. And you know, that's uh, mastering any, uh, any pit stops. And all the pit stops, I'd say, is always a big challenge. The pit stop challenge. So we'll start the ceremony. The first ceremony, la première cérémonie, donc, dans quelques instants, vous les attendez tous, et bien ils sont là. Ces mécaniciens de la catégorie LMP2, avec donc euh, les mécaniciens de chez Idexport, un tonnerre d'applaudissements pour Laurie Chani, Vivien Morisset, Sébastien Rogard. The winners here in Imola, second win in a row, Seb, Vivien and Loris. They won the pit stop challenge by Total Energy and Corentin Loiseau, Motorsport Engineering Coordinator from Total Energy, is uh, giving the, the prize to them. So 150 euro per mechanics after this uh, great showing and this uh, great competition offered by Total Energy. This pit stop challenge by Total Energy, second edition in uh, the ELMS and the IDEX Sport team has won the prize, victoire Idexport, donc deuxième victoire consécutive après Aragon en 2023. Ils vont commencer à nous habituer à être au sommet. Bravo messieurs, en tout cas, c'était très bien. Et vous pouvez regarder devant vous parce que Stéphanie est là, évidemment, pour immortaliser le moment, bien sûr. C'est normal. On peut donc être fier chez Idexport. Et je sais que Nicolas Minassian regardait d'un œil très attentif, justement, cette performance. Bravo messieurs et on vous retrouve eh ben, demain en forme pour, euh, encore une fois, de belles euh, prestations au niveau des stands. <rire> ils n'ont pas envie de le quitter, hein, ce podium. Mais ils ont bien raison. Ils ont bien raison parce qu'ils euh, en profitent. Et, et ces mécaniciens, eh bien, on peut vraiment leur tirer un grand coup de chapeau. Hommes et femmes, d'ailleurs. Pareil que les commissaires, hein, vous le savez, à chaque fois, on est vraiment heureux de mettre en avant l'ensemble des acteurs. Donc, euh, de ces compétitions européennes, le Mans Series. The LMP2 winners in the pit stop challenge by Total Energy. Ah, it's not that easy to be on the podium, you see? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. I'm afraid now. Okay, I'm afraid. I was afraid. Uh, the champagne ceremony. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you, you deserve it. Voilà, vous l'avez mérité, les gars. Je m'attendais bien à une, à une douche au champagne, évidemment, évidemment. <rire> ah, ils, ont, ils, ont bien, ils ont bien pris Sébastien, je crois qu'il est, est bien refait. Tu pourras mettre ta combinaison, c'est parfait. <rire> voilà. Eh ben oui, bon, on en profite, évidemment. Alors voilà, la dotation, c'est 150 euros par mécanicien et une bouteille de champagne, évidemment. <rire> Voilà, elle, est, euh, elle a une bonne saveur cette, euh, cette bouteille. Après les pilotes qui sont montés sur le podium, eh bien, les mécaniciens maintenant ici donc, euh, à Imola. Finissez pas tout quand même les gars, alors <rire> vous allez rien avoir, hein, je suis vraiment désolé. <rire> voilà, et eh bien bravo en tout cas, félicitations. Congratulations guys, the Ile Export team winner of this uh, pit stop challenge by Total Energy, second time in a row. So we are waiting for you next year in the ELMS for another edition of the Pit Stop Challenge by Total Energy. So now it's time for another ceremony, another trio to be highlighted after a great performance, after the uh, LMP2 class highlighted. We'll have now the LMGT3. A, a nice uh, decoration, uh, by the way, and a nice smell. <laughs> on the podium with the champagne. I no, don't have uh, always uh, the, the occasion to be here, so we are ready to uh, welcome now the LMGT3 winners. Uh, Hector Lauerta, Julian Klein, and Michael Reed, winner in LMGTE for the Iron Dames team. Congratulations. That was a, a nice display, really, really fast. 13 seconds. That was, I think, the fastest uh, pit stop this weekend. And that was done by uh, the LMGT3 team, the Porsche, the pink Porsche from the Iron Dames in LMGT3, 150 euro and uh, champagne as well for this uh, performance.
Okay, it's not uh, all is not done, but uh, that's already a good start for the Iron Dames this weekend here in uh, Imola for the four hours tomorrow. And uh, of course, uh, on Sunday, we are waiting for, for you guys. Will you be like the French team and uh, being uh, really on it with the champagne or not? Aha, that's a good, uh, good question. Do you want to use the champagne or share the champagne with the team? Aha. Uh -huh. Good question. Okay, uh, I think they don't want to share. <laughs> okay, they don't want to share. Ah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Will you share or not? Okay, they are sharing. That's perfect. Good team spirit. Congratulations to the Iron Dames team. Proton competition operated Porsche number 85 in LM GT3. I don't know what they are doing. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's all right. They'll share with you guys. They'll share the, the champagne with you, uh, with the Iron Dames and Iron Lynx, uh, for sure, within a few seconds. And uh, now it's time for the LMP3 winners. They did that uh, last season. They did it again, as uh, a famous singer could say. Ils l'ont uh, réussi de nouveau à s'imposer une nouvelle fois l'année dernière. C'était en Aragon, cette année, c'est en Italie. Et c'est uh, sur cette piste d'Imola, une équipe française, donc en LMP3, avec Mathias Aubry, Thibaut Dast et Quentin Mail. Ils sont là, tous les trois. Félicitations. Congratulations, guys. Ultimate did it again. Second win in a row for you. That was a pretty intense pit stop challenge battle and, and final. And Corentin. Loiseau, Motorsport Engineering Coordinator at Total Energy, is uh, handing the trophies to you guys. The LMP3 winners in the Pit Stop Challenge by Total Energy. That's a good way to uh, finish the Friday and uh, to launch the weekend, I would say. A weekend that has already been launched, um, for sure. But tomorrow will be qualifying session, and uh, on uh, Sunday we'll be ready for four hours of uh, a good show. <laughs> will you? Okay. The French teams are, are not willing to share with, uh, with them. So the London Norris style, we say. Does it work? Oh, it works perfectly. All right. Perfect. I'll, I'll smell champagne now. <laughs> Bravo. Eh, vive la France, vive la Bretagne. Hein? C'est ce qu'on peut dire, évidemment, avec euh, ce classement LMP3. Eh, voilà, il n'en reste plus. Ben voilà, c'est malin. <laughs> Félicitations, en tout cas. Ah, attention. Est-ce qu'on va réussir à, à donner... À, Ça, c'est peut-être encore plus difficile, peut-être que l'arrêt au stand. Oh, pas mal, pas mal. Déjà, 1 sur 3, c'est pas mal. 2 sur 3, est-ce qu'on va faire le trio Oui, bravo ah, Ils sont bons partout chez Ultimate, que ce soit aux arrêts au stand, que ce soit au volant ou que ce soit dans le, <rire> le lancer de bouteille. Bravo, messieurs. Congratulations, guys. That was a, a nice display and a nice pit stop challenge by Total Energy. Thank you very much for having been with, with us. Uh, congratulations to all the mechanics, uh, not only the winners, but all the mechanics that did the uh, pit stop challenge by uh, Total Energy, the second edition. I hope you enjoyed the coverage. J'espère que vous avez apprécié. On se retrouve évidemment demain pour uh, le LMS. Donc, uh, ça sera à partir de 14h30 pour la séance qualificative. Avant cela, ils auront du roulage, les pilotes. Mais là, en tout cas, c'était l'heure de mettre en avant les mécaniciens. It was time for Mechanics to Shine, and they did. Thank you very much, and see you tomorrow on the ELMS YouTube channel.